All right. We are live on the internet. I can't believe it's true. Uh, so yeah, you do need to come up a bit on on your mic. Come up a bit? Yeah. Just a bit? Yeah. A bit, a bit, a bit, 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 Mic check one two. I see on my mixer I'm peaking. Mic check one two. Yeah, you can come down just a skosh. Skosh? That's a little bit less than a bit. Right. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Just like a half skosh more. It's more down or more up? More down. Mic check one two. Fantastic Mike check right there. One two. You're sounding great, kid. I love it. Thanks. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to de decline and continue. Hey, there's my mouse. I can see it now. Um, uh, Past profiles. It doesn't even have my past profile anymore. Wow. Uh, So we are going to do standard, I believe. Quentin's here. Sergio's here. Hey, Sergio. I am ready to sell my soul to the Lynx uh, Corporation. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the Shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. It reminds me of the uh, X-Men 2 logo, uh, the 20th Century Fox thing. And yeah. When that fades out at the beginning of X-Men 2, I think the X stays on screen for like another 10 frames or something like that. It just lingers after the rest of the logo because it's an X-Men movie. All right. Hey, Meg. Hello. Uh, pave the way to the galaxy program. Women's programs at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation can be revoked at any time. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. Salvage station number 42. Designation Morrigan. My favorite dark stalk dark stalker character. Also the only one I know the name of. Uh enter to name. I will be. Let's see if they allow characters. They do. Spares unlimited. Spare fee, 150,000. I feel like that used to be more. But it used to be like... Or maybe that's this, this spare fee. Who knows? There we go. Uh, not averted, don't need it. Uh, I'll say plastic free. I'd like to limit the, net, the number of plastics I take in. No criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. That's me. Not a member of and never have associated with a workers' union. That's me. Oh, sorry, Sergio. <laughs> I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. I have no commercial or real estate interest on Luna, in the asteroid belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. I will bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. I understand and accept that health risks are associated with long-term exposure to Vanderwall's field. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zhang in the Pan American State Senate election. I suppose I have to. Or this game ain't I mean, going nowhere. You agreed to it in the terms and conditions. Sure did. Uh. I'm going to go through the training just in case there's anything new since last time I played this. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. The, this opening, like, uh, chain gang song. That's 
someone was knocking on my door. <laughs> And it says, well, looks like I can't play this game since I'm in a union. <laughs> to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above. To return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet, bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Yeah, this is yeah. This is the other half of Rebel Galaxy. It's kind of like the pairing of uh, car mechanic sim and car detailing sim. Did you see what I posted in Discord earlier today? I yes, I did. You had uh, some unsimulated uh, car mechanic sim. I did. So did I, actually, just before stream. Uh, sh uh, Shelby and I were going to get a uh, Viva Pinata, a Pina Colada uh, Icy for her. Oh, she still hasn't had one yet, huh? Right, she got hers tonight. And when we were in the gas station parking lot, I stalled out the car. And I went to start it again, and it wouldn't start. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just like a weird thing. I'm trying to start the car too soon after it stalled. So I let it sit for a sec, tried to crank it, and it's just... And I was like, oh, that's a that's a dead battery. Uh, so I was like, well, I guess we are push starting this car. So we had to take a couple passes at it. And then I realized that I did not have the key in the on position, so you can't jump a car in the off position. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter. But we uh are pushed the uh, we, all of modern uh, civilization. Clutch jumped it and, then and the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. Gotta the go. rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity. To be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Wait. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny. How lucky am I? Well, honestly. Work hard. Heed your superiors. Believe in the Link's vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. There's a space before the B in Believe down there in the captioning. It bothers me. work program. The greatest gift we give our employees. Turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. Ever work. With length, When's a, I don't know if you guys have been on your Twitch page, start. but did you see that they added a highlight reel? No. No, what does that mean? <laughs> Are they highlights that we have designated? Oh boy. I want a fresh start. We all know what's going to happen here. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. I'm not Don't seeing worry. a highlight reel. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> Please note, as outlined in section 31 of Did your someone just do an treatment, anime effort in the, the background? The process of genetic extraction <laughs> Kinda. will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction No, it's like now. a Snapchat of ten channel activity from the last month. They say Snapchat and then Snapchat. Yeah. I don't see this. Maybe it's because we're live. Maybe so. Extraction analysis and backup complete. Thank you. Beginning fair generation. I'll check it out after stream. Uh -huh. So we died. And now we're alive. Really beefed it, huh? Yeah. Okay. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. All right, so let's see what we're in the hole to Lynx Corp for. Display of fees report, $7.50. 
A solid $1.2 billion. Very good. Oh, was that all? Yeah. Boredom.com or twitch.tv slash recap slash carpe boredom. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman. For no, that just takes me to. In this that just takes this me to Twitch's main Oregon front Nation. page. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, I'm also logged into my personal her account, her not the. Uh, CB account, so maybe that uh, will... Quinn wouldn't see that if he was logging control. his personal account, I guess. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. Look at the TV screen that's again? It. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked They've updated up that model. Crew. Are they really? Just in case you ever turn your yeah, it looks way different whack. than I remember. Use your roll thrusters to reorient. Alright. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Now vertical control. Mm hmm. Looks good. Mm hmm. Now, to finalize these movement checks, I need you to fly to these waypoints. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. Till there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so. Never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? All right. Huh. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're gonna clean this crap up. I'm gonna activate the furnaces. Now. This is my favorite sound in this game. Like, kick on these. Oh, yeah. Just, whoa. There you go. I like them, too. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying, these things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. I'm gonna I have it. definitely drifted into them by accident. Okay. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go, and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Use the grapple reel. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. That T, I think? Yeah. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go-ahead to get you cutting. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Uh, open the tool menu is R. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. Now, it's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. 
You ready to perform some zero-G surgery, Cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. That's that range is a lot shorter than I okay. remember. Yeah. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Large aluminum now, chunk. It's way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Ah, see, I don't remember this in the... Switch cut mode in the, now. um... Now try changing the angle. Tutorial? Yeah. I don't think I've ever played the Where tutorial. I've unlocked the trigger on your I think when I first played it, there It'll was no tutorial. Maybe so, yeah. Into. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm going to turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Raw material process. Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. Let's head on over to your hab and I'll show you the ropes there. Fly on over back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in and we'll get started. Alrighty, I made half a million credits. Oh, why? We're on our way. That's less than a percent of the amount that you owe. <laughs> and six magic points. I keep forgetting I have to put uh, press square in there again. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming yeah, This is new. Waiting. See, I've seen this part. I just never really did that much with it. Uh, receive call. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Sleep tight there, Cutter. Now I get the trippy dream sequence. Hello, ship breaker. I remember seeing this and thinking, I would love a TV nominal. mounted above my bed. Have a good day. I would never get any sleep. Big same. Uh, I can't read any of these emails. Minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Solar time, solar standard time each day. Failure to pay on time is considered breach. Contact, contract. What's stopping you? Ah, uh, you know. Rise and shine, Cutter. Effort. Hope you feel well rested. Keep it away from the cats. Ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. All right, messages. Clear as mud. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Rank thirty is the cap. Most of them are willing to help you out too. All right, 
Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Right, let's check the rest of these. Structure mode, pre-installed in every optical cross-spectrum scanner. Uh, each privileged person who joins our family becomes a ship. Uh, to become a shipbreaker comes with significant costs. Fortunately, Link shoulders the burden of these costs temporarily. Great. <clears throat> Let's see, salvage goals. That's pretty straightforward. Shipyard admin. Mackerel light cargo and station hopper. Spares and you. That's a lot to read. Our onboarding procedure includes a collection of genetic Damn, data. <laughs> that's a lot of words. <laughs> Too bad I'm not reading them. Safely stored in our secure servers. For the moment, from the moment you join us, uh, you no longer need to worry about ex expiring before your time. Death is a fresh start. <clears throat> Presence transfer protocol has a plus or minus 0.001% margin of error due to solar, solar interference, signal strength, subject state of mind at the moment of transfer, and other factors. Over very long periods of time, this may result in identity shift, a medically benign process with minimal impact on subject's working ability. Uh, cert. So do I have any... I do have some Lynx tokens. Macrolite unlocked. Wow, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. <laughs> uh, suit. Can I do upgrades here? Okay, so I, this is the equipment menu, but I, I don't, I'm not able to upgrade anything. Enter the ship catalog. Is that here or out in the thing? Oh, I just, I guess I just start my shift. Oh yeah, because then you pick which ship you want to work on. That would be the catalog, this right? Yep. Shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. Uh, let's see. Mass value 2.5. Mass value 2.4. 2.5. 2.5. These are all the same, except for that one. One rep Oh, it tells me. Oh, okay. Neat, 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 neat. So this, they are all the same, except for this one, which has a repair kit inside. Or... Get a repair kit? I don't know. I'm going to do this one just because it has something extra. Okay. Uh, salvage bay. Yes. Go for it. Salvage bay. Every time I press, I forget to press space bar. She's all yours, Cutter. Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Now try to remember. Nanocarbon goes in the processor. Aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We this. Call it using the whole buffalo. I'll wait till he's done. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. This this sound effect that they've used for the scanner is so good. It's just like it's absolutely perfect for that view. I have it turned down super low, so let me turn it up and do it again. Okay, let me know you're ready. I'm ready. Like, Ooh, it, yeah. it just, oh, it's yeah. its like a satisfying little, like, like, thunk. It but reminds me of a CRT. It's exactly what it is. It's its so reminiscent of that thing, and the scan lines across the, the screen get you into that, that mindset. And it's so, so good. What is it telling me to look at? This? Oh, the, the ship. Hey, there's me. All right, let's get to cutting. I think I would like the story mode if there wasn't a time limit. I don't like the yeah. time limit. I mean, you can you can definitely choose that on the on the front menu. There's, um... Whoa, that was oh, not yeah, correct. Clips <laughs> through. Uh, what is it? Oh, 
open mode? Stand, something like that? Oh, yeah, that's the mode I usually play. There's there's different ones. I think there's one that doesn't include the... Uh, the time limit or oxygen limit. Yeah, that's open. Open doesn't have oxygen or time limit, and there's no limit on um, tethers. Gotcha. Where's a door on but, this thing? I don't know. It's got to be a door. There has to be. Something that's on I mean, the bottom. You could maybe? cut out the window, but that would. Yeah, but I like to go in the door. Oh, there it is. There it is. It was hiding from you. I like. I I don't mind the oxygen limit. Oh, there's. It's just open. There's yeah. no. There's no. Uh, yeah. These these won't be pressurized. I uh I I don't mind the oxygen limit or the tether limit. It's really the time limit I don't like. Mm -hmm. So uh, but because of that, I, I there's no option to just play the main game with no time limit. Right. So I just play. I just usually just play open. And I remember when you played this the first time, you were showing it to me. And you were like, I never use the cut beam. I always use the the spot cutter. Yeah. And ever since like I started playing it, I only use the cut beam. That's all I use. I, I know these ships look intimidating. I will them. rarely use the spot sure. cutter. Only sure if there's something like we'll next to something I don't want to cut. No, I'm pushing this off. You know oh, okay, that panel came out. <laughs> it's day, super easy to get disoriented. In this oh, it's incredibly way. easy. Shelby would hate this. Everything. Yes, yes, she would. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect, Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things look exactly like my stepbrother did. <laughs> what? what is he talking about? I have no clue. <laughs> now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I tell you what. And yes, we have sort of like skewed relation. the ship a couple degrees. Anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Call if there's anything Thanks, Weaver. You grip up there, Cutter. Weaver out. It's okay, Weaver. I wasn't listening anyway. <laughs> That's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not listening. <laughs> Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Uh, where are these? Oh, there's also no health in open. So right. You can literally right, right. be in the middle of like a core exploding. Uh huh. You just stand there. But yeah, but then nothing happens after. <laughs> right. Uh, which way am I facing? I'm facing down. This goes. Yeah. Do you think they'll have any barge stuff on the first mission? Any what? Barge stuff? Probably not. I'd be kind of surprised if they threw the you in. The barge isn't even on. Right. So. I, I, I imagine that doesn't come in until you've got a couple certs under your belt. Uh, is that salvage on there? All right. Put the bottom off of this thing. And I should be able to cut the top off here in a second. When I was playing this kind of like super regularly, I got really good at taking entire sections of the ship off at once. Like not... not like uh, tethers and stuff? Yeah, not separating them. Uh... Not necessarily with tethers, but just like being able to grab an entire panel and pull it away with with little burst shots. Yeah. And instead of using a panel at a time, I was doing like 
an entire side of the ship. You were just pushing uh -huh. huge chunks of the ship into the salvage deposit? Yeah. I never really got good enough to do the um, the chained processing to where you link a bunch of them together with tethers and then like they basically rip each thing off of the ship as as one gets pulled into the processor it rips the the next one off cuz those I'm not seeing I'm not seeing your oxygen level uh, I may not have oxygen to worry about on the first uh, on the first mission just because you know as a video game that would be like kind of frustrating that off yet? No, I didn't. Like the, specifically the back section, I got really good at like basically tearing the entire engine section off. Which was nice. Like I know the spot cutter is more precise. I feel like it just takes so much longer than when you're doing numerous cuts. It's like, I don't feel like waiting on all this. in there. I think that cap is salvage, maybe? Nope, it's all processor. Usually the whole, like, ends of stuff are like that. Yeah. Gonna bonk into the ship. That'd be right. Did this thing not have an engine in it? Uh, no. I don't think the first one does. Oh, yeah, because all of that would be barge stuff, and the barge is, like, not mm -hmm. even on. I also read something in the patch notes of this. I think at some point in the story, you start working on your own ship. Like, that, you have, like, you know, an old Camaro in the garage that you're, that you're rebuilding, which I don't think was in the game before at all. I think it was implied in some of the patch notes. We're like, hey, at some point, we're we're considering letting you uh, build a ship out of the parts you collect. Um, and it seems as though they've done just that. Go down. This is where my uh, keying ability really hampers me. I remember we were talking about at one point where they should make a second game. Uh -huh. This game talks to that game, and all of the like parts that you save from the barge or process uh -huh. basically gets put in like an inventory, and then the other game reads it, and then you can car mechanic simulator esque build ships with it. Right. Yeah, that'd be alright. Also, you're a little quiet now all of a sudden. Ah, ah. Now you're better. Got to get right up on that mic. And now you know what I mean like, by... Do I get right up on the microphone? Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, uh... No pickles, large fry. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. My microphone's windscreen does not taste good. It no. It does it taste like the styrofoam? No. Oh, better or worse? Better than that, okay. but still not great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't want 
get that. Like if I had to choose to eat more styrofoam or <laughs> eat um, windscreen, I would choose windscreen, but I wouldn't be happy about it. Okay. What about if you had to choose uh, styrofoam or windstream to eat? Oh, I, haven't I haven't tasted it. What if you had to eat I your I'm wind? Lack I'm lacking. I'm lacking very important information in this decision. What if you had to to eat your windstream router? Windstream router. Okay. <laughs> I uh, spilled just... a bunch of wax on it. That's like lilac flavored. Oh. So it, it probably tastes better than that styrofoam did. Oh, that's right. This is a whole thing, but the glass is goes in the furnace. So this is this one's kind of tough. I usually just burn the glass out. Yeah, I'm at least gonna try and get it right. Get it free yet? I could not. Oh, is it separate panels now? It used to be no, one solid piece of glass. It looks like it looks like it's. Oh, what? What? That's not what I expected that to Wait, come apart as. That's not how this used to be built. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm, now I'm all twisted around. Come on, get in position. Hope that went the right direction. It did. Okay, now a little bit of ga glass left. Can I melt these, this? These glass panels in these front yeah. things are built different. Built different. <laughs> oh my god, that punished you a lot more than I thought it would. What, yeah, the wasted glass? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still not near the top of the hash, so it's fine. Apparently, this was held that together. Whole inner structure, that whole inner structure should be all furnace. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, how we looking? I'm going to say that's all furnace. I mean, you could separate. But oh, no. I'm, point. If it's all furnace, it's just going in whole cloth. Just to make sure there's not any interior stuff. Now the barge stuff isn't there, so there shouldn't be anything. Oh, yep. <clears throat> Off she goes. -y. It's a little thing you just floated past your face. Really? Yeah, it was like oh, a little canister. Face. Yeah, it was like an air filter. It's not even telling you where to put nope. it. It's like, don't even, don't even worry about this. Now this, what, is gonna this little guy? Push me away, yep. Way too heavy. Yeah. So, can gonna force you to cut it up, huh? Yeah. That's new. Now, here's my question. Can I... straight up, like, lance the whole... It'll only cut these two sides. You're gonna have to go through and cut the other side. Oh, dang it. I thought maybe... I thought maybe it would, it would eat through the whole thing. No, and there's also gonna be, like, beams in, like, at the corners that you're gonna have to make sure are cut as well. I get it. Dang it. Cut the thing. Get free now. Free. Oh, God. <laughs> you broke the beams. I think the beam survived in the other corner. Maybe. No, nope, it's still attached because of the beam. Dang it! And then once you cut it, it's severed. Just burns that whole beam, huh? The whole beam. So here's. Material accepted. Credits assigned. 
Here's something to try. Will it let me grip the wall and pull it in that way? What is that? Z, I think? Do it from the other half of it. Uh, because it might pull it into the other one that you don't want it to go into. Like here? Come on. No, I meant like the other side of the furnace. Oh, okay. It is not it is not it moving is not at whatsoever. They made those things a lot heavier than they used to be. Oh, Shelby has uh Shelby, her arms held high. Uh, has come to me in celebration. Is it the Horizon DLC? Uh, no, I told her about that. Um, she she has completed drunk baking, according to her. Completed drunk baking. Yeah, she's done it. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, you know. Give me the line. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything takes so many pieces. It's that thing. Can you yank that off with the puller? Like that little knob? I cannot. You cannot. Quinces always have a DB designated base. <laughs> Can I melt this? Yes, I can. What are you attached? Oh god, more beams. just pushed that in the wrong place sure did that was a test you passed congratulations great job Man. great job Material deposited. I so people think uh, God and Jesus um, <laughs> a big heaping spaghetti pile of information I had earlier today right also known as the uh, PlayStation Direct yeah I, I didn't watch it I just caught the <laughs> Just got the the uh, cliff notes on Twitter later. Yeah. I'm excited about that uh, roller drone game. I'm excited about uh, there was one game on there that looked really gross and cool. Oh, the Callisto Protocol. Yes, yes, that looks so cool. Yeah. I only saw like four pictures, and I don't know anything else about it. But just from those pictures, I'm like. Yes, that looks good. Yeah, we'll probably have to do some more research so we can talk a bit more on the podcast about it. Oh, yeah. Don't want to burn the pod here on the nightly show. You mean the new episode of the podcast is coming out next Monday? Uh-huh. That's the very same one. Okay, now, uh, all right, so, um, one thing I, I noticed is that the, so you see that bar graph that's down there on, like, that, the, the right side of the shadow, shaded area? Un yes. Underneath where it says there's furnace? Like a, like, there's, like, a middle line, but off to the left of that yes. bar? Um, I, this is technically not filling that line. It's, like, one pixel away from filling that line. So it's like almost as heavy as as I can handle. Because if it were, if you knock like one panel off, it should. Well, I'm gonna try it from over here. Oh, I see. Here. What you're, doing. you're gonna you're gonna do what you were trying to do earlier. Yeah. Okay, pull it now that it's, now. I can at least move it. I should be able to pull it from here. It is so slow. Yeah, it's barely budging. Yeah one little piece in front of you right there yeah and see how little that one is on that graph that just... that's the wrong hole ah well nothing I can do about it now nothing can be done 
Please, you need to take it out to dinner first. Uh, -huh. uh all right. So let's see if we can cut these beams. Uh. Oh, I can push it. I can just pulse it. Uh, so this is surf first surface furnace is what the word I'm trying to say there if I get here and just bunk bunk and now she's moving yeah there we go that's a payday right there Going. It'll get, get in there. Salvage goal five reached. Look at that bar finish up as it melts everything. Nice, 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 nice. There's still a little bit somewhere, but screw it. You yeah. cat out, so whatever. Right. How much to make? Two point four million dollars. That is one thousandth, or what? Two, uh, two thousandths of what we owe, I think. Wow. New certification level achieved. License upgraded. Um, I'm rank three now. Ah, got it that time. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Good morning. Achieve a perfect salvage of over 95%. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. He, he, he sounded different there. He sounded like worn down. Oh, are these stickers I already have? No, I don't. Where's the one that I have? That is the one that I have. Stickers. Mm-hmm. Select a new ship. See how do I? Could you redo? Oh, once you select the new ship, it'll it'll, it'll clear the bay. Okay, got it. I do it, remember that. Yeah, it makes me feel like it, I'm not done with it, but it's it's up to me, which is nice. Because before it was just like, are you done with this or are you not? You um, uh, you gonna finish that? <laughs> Uh, so we've got what five one two five 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 two four. We're going for the go for the big bucks. Big schmackers. Also a good sound effect there. Now Weaver, All right. what you got to tell me? Hold up a second there, Kurt. Oh, okay. Because you've increased your rank, we're gonna give you the next greatest ship. Now this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that Lynx can collect and resell. You're going to want to throw those items on the barge. That's, uh, the big green thing below you. Go ahead, have a look. Yes, that's the There we go. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. Don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. Works great. Most of the time. Let's give it a go. Alright, these go on to barge. El de barge. El barjo. <laughs> and 
should be one on that side. Salvage secured. Account credit what is... applied. Oh, I'm just tearing that off. Got it. Huh. I don't remember those just being able to rip off last time. I don't either. There, there used to be like little cutting points for them. Yeah. I think this game could really benefit from multiplayer. Yeah. I would actually. How the barge used to work. Uh huh. The 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 the, the slots. Yeah. I remember you telling me that I, I, I can't. I think I would have stopped playing. <laughs> it was it was very annoying because like you would start. Well, at least I would start by just throwing stuff down there. Uh huh. And it would just fill random slots. But then after a while, like the middle area where I was just randomly targeting would fill up. Yep. And it would bounce off and fly back up and then get lost. Did, did you say that you could hit things into other things and break them? Uh, I think so. If, like, something flew down there and then stopped, uh huh, and then you threw something else down oh, there, but that's the, first what it was. Thing, the first thing didn't fall into a slot but was just floating down there, uh -huh. if you hit it, it with something else, collide. it would just collide and bash and break. Right, 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 right. That's what it was. So there's an, there's an airlock switch, but I don't see the airlock. It's probably not active. It's just letting you know. It's probably like slowly introducing you to like looking at these different objects. Whereas like the first ship is just there's nothing in here. Just pull the walls off and throw them down. I wonder if it has an engine in it. It might. It's a hazard what? Three? Hazard two? Yeah, but it looked like there were nine stars. There's no engine in it. No engine. Definitely won't have a core if it doesn't have an engine. No. Yeah. Object right. processed. Transferring credits. You just taking out the whole back half? Yeah. If I can. Well, not really half, but you know what I mean. Yeah. The rear quadrant. Can I fly through here and bonk it off? We're attached with something. You think I need to cut the fuel s fuel things on those? Probably need to deactivate them. There's probably a switch to turn them off. Yeah. Alrighty. Now I can rip these out. What? Oh, was there stuff on there? That wasn't probably. supposed to. Uh, O2 canisters. I don't... Did they get rid of oxygen? Uh, I guess they wouldn't have if that's there. Thrust, yeah, because I've got thruster fuel as well, and I don't currently... I'm not con currently consuming any. But what if I wanted to drink this? Stopping you. What? No one's stopping you. Oh, yeah. Crack your helmet open. <laughs> oh, I bet it was a light that I wasn't supposed to put in there. I hate those lights. Careful now. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's real heavy. Good lordy. Those things didn't used to be that heavy. But also, you barely bash them into something and they freaking explode. Uh huh. So. Is there another one? Yes, back there. Nice work. Huh. Got that pretty quickly. Thanks. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean ah. you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. 
There's your fuel health. Uh -huh. You gotta top up at the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. I gotta get it's stuck. Can't get out of here. Cross the be able to go through that. What is that? I think it's just a. What did it say? Asteroid shard. If they got rid of the timer, I, I'll probably start playing the story of this. I think... I think the timer's still there, but it's more generous? I don't know. They, they've they they've tuned a lot of things with the progression system from, from the... I'm looking at the patch notes. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Okay, where... Again, when you hit the next plane, we were out. Is, oh, these are just panels. The processes, microprocesses. Think I can just rip this off? Yeah. I gotta figure out why that rear section is not coming off. What's holding you? Oh, it's this whole cap. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So I need to go into the interior walls and cut those free. Climb around in the walls like a rat. Yeah. With this, I will use the precision. Does that come free? Yes, it does. Yep. And what do you go to? It's highlighted in blue, so I think that's processor. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that it highlighted the color of the place it needed to go. I think it might. I'm looking for something that would go in a furnace or barge. No, that's in yellow. Yeah, it's now it's blue. blue. It's yeah, it just means I'm carrying it. It would be a neat feature, though. Hear that, devs? We know you're watching. <laughs> you're welcome. What I like to do in a uh, free mode is to pop out those uh, bracers holding the top part uh -huh. and like go flying at them at full speed <laughs> and just bash them through. <laughs> if you do it in story, it'll probably hurt you, break your suit. I pr yeah, you're probably right. There we go. Rear section is free. Give it a All good look. Processor. Now I can stand. Yeah, great ship. I'm gonna go over here and bonk it. Ship's great. There we go. All right. Now I got a good view of this thing. I should be able. I'm gonna see if I can cut all these at once. Pretty good number of them. You destroyed an asteroid shard. Oh no! You destroyed worthless space debris. <laughs> you broke it. Oh no! Our asteroid. <laughs> it's broken. That's the line. Look at you. Okay.
Where's the other one? There you am. Oh, there's a light on there. Oh well. I think there's probably one on every single one of those. There areas. probably is, and I am unconcerned. Uh, so this is probably attached at another point. It is. Let's start ripping off this other side. As I said, unbothered. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Cutter, make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your O2. Alright, so there was a canister in here, right? Trust me on this one. We were out. Hey Cutter, I need you to head back to the kiosk <laughs> on the starting platform. Okay, I get it, pal. Collect. Oxygen levels stabilizing. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Zero credits. Free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> uh, can I bonk you? No, you are not quite bonkable just yet. Not now. Bonk status now. Remains unbonked. Good bonk now. Hey, we're bonking. Bonk. Let's hold on to you. You can go now. Now, you got something in there. I believe hey. Steve has just resubbed. He did for 40, 40 months. months. That is that's quite some time. Oh, wait, that's is this one less than 41 months. <laughs> I'll get you, hey, Steve, if it's the last thing I do. Deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay. Now we can sever this one. And then maybe this will come off. Nope, still nothing. Attached somewhere else. Also, I need to fix my monitoring again because I saw it on the... Yeah, I saw it on the, the thing, but I didn't hear it. So let me go here. Monitor only. Let me... <laughs> Quentin says... And two months away from obtaining the answers to the universe and everything. <laughs> Settings. Audio. Oh, right. Because that is set to the wrong device. That needs to come through my headphones. Try it one more again. And actually, I wonder if I can play the stream alert again. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay, let me do this. Let me... Turn off the monitor. And then monitor only. He says, so I upgraded an associate's MacBook today. Very oh, did you cool. you get like, a Chromebook or something? Ha, 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 ha. That runs Windows? I'm trying to pull it through a tiny little door. Yeah. Oh! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Into the 
processor. You're also going into the processor. I'm not going into the processor. 16 gigs of RAM, new. I'm going to guess one or two terabyte SSD. Very nice. Uh, hard crate. Uh, let's cut this forward section off. That's probably going to cut the bottom out of this as well. Rise from your grave. All right. That's an alert. Only if there's a battery, but they're finicky. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Cut. I just want the middle. I just want that. I just want that. And then... Should be able to bonk <laughs> that. Oh, right. And that's that whole center section comes separately. But that is all for nice. There we go. Now, what's what's your story, Sunshine? Uh, we got glass. Let's say salvage. Oh, I thought. Salvage goal failed. Oh no! Rewards lost. I've gotten. Uh -oh. I've built up too many too many penalties. You've thrown too many light bulbs in the furnace. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, That's gonna be a big. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> What's the point? Um. Cutter. Make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your O2. Is there another one back there? I think there was. Trust me on this. Does the scanner tell you if there are any? Hey Carter, I need you to head back to the kiosk. He's real insistent about this freaking O2. He doesn't want to lose another cutter. I thought there was one back here. Shoot, did I throw it? Is the scanner point him out? Yeah. Uh, There's probably only one. Yeah, either that or I threw it in the, the thing. I know, lady. And that last little goes by super fast, huh? Yeah. Oh, get up there. Thank you. Oxygen's. Alrighty. <laughs> what is this? Uh, read that thing that found. that um Get up. that Steve wrote there. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to load on my end. Steve said my immediate test was scanning all of my code cards. Scanning all of my code cards for the online Pokemon TCG using its webcam since it doesn't work on my PC. Oh. Ended up with 1,290 digital packs to open. Uh, also yeah. transforming. Man, this is taking a long time to load. I still haven't heard what the sound is. It's pretty quick. You, it may have... While I was talking, you may have played it. And I got hit with the... Alright, let's get the bottom out of this thing. Okay. You are for 
to process her. You are grounded. Or Tilcock. Tilcock! <laughs> I realize now it's impossible to explain that if you don't already know what it is. Oh, they don't get to know. It's like nine layers deep. And even if they knew what the, like, source material was, they'd be like, how did you get there from this? <laughs> what's the what's the stream of, of thought there? Pick up. Get me a repair kit, man. Your suit's looking a little damaged anyway. You might need it. Fine now. Uh, didn't repair your suit. What's that? Didn't repair your suit. Oh, I think I I have the kit, so I can repair it later. Oh, it's T. All right, so <laughs> did you? Yep, hear? I heard it that time. Okay, it's it is <laughs> very quick. I heard it that time. I want to see how much these friggin' light bulbs are costing me. That's nothing. I must have wasted something serious. Like, oh, you know what it is? It's all those friggin' storage bins and, and uh, couches and cabinets. And I, oh, I, you, need to, you need to not be doing that. Yeah, I agree. Portal cock. <laughs> Portal cock. <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. That's why I don't use it. I clicked that. I, I clicked. I pressed two right before I started cutting. Should have zagged on him. Yeah. Sick. Alright, what do we got left? Something I can tear off. Oh, the lights that I don't care about. Uh, these always confuse me. And I never win this. <laughs> what do I need? What do I need to cut to get this off? Is it Isn't this? Isn't it off already? It looks like it's already kind of detached. No, it's it's held on by that those rails. There we go. Now it's free. And that goes on. That goes that goes on the barge. That goes on the barge. But that little rail there goes on the processor. And I'm like, what? Wait, wait. Go back to the the view. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder. There are cutting points on the edge. You can see them in the x-ray view. What? How would I see that? Oh my goodness. Alright. I go get... Go get some oxygen. Oh, alright, well. Oop. That's Probably off. lost that part. Yeah. That's off into space. This oxygen tank went by super fast. Yeah, I think it's because I started the mission without it kicking in. Okay, where's that panel? There it is. Right, I remember that now. There's these little, like, hinges that you blast. And the whole thing peels off. And you can pull the light off and send the, the hatch and the light to the barge and then this frame to the... Right. So this stays here. Processes. And the scat hatch goes to the barge. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna break. Oh, nice save. Tank gonna break the scat hatch. 
That sounds like a butthole. <laughs> it's character from Persona. Get your mind out of the oh, gutter. We were talking about this. We were talking about this. Yeah. I, for I forgot I lost, about that conversation. I lost the... Where's the panel? I lost it. it you sent the panel to the... No, the... the, the fr there. That. Oh, come here. Oh, God. You're going to want to pull that in real quick. It's still going. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> you are out of control. Okay. All right. All right. We're back. We're back. We're good. We're all fine here now. How are you? Uh... I think. What is barge? This light is barge. That's light processor, barge. furnace, uh, processor. Yeah, the panel the underneath the, or the bar underneath. The, the Jesus. <laughs> blessings. <laughs> and blessings. Thanks. How am I supposed to get? How do I get one off the other? Uh, really? How does this pull free? Well, you're either gonna have to just cut cut it like poorly out and just throw a little bit of aluminum into the processor, or precisely cut it out and take minutes to do it. That's nuts. Furnace. <laughs> All of it. Yeah. And it's now okay. we've got there. This is furnace. It's falling into the processor. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. That's not something I would do. I've done it multiple times. Now I'm going into the processor. Uh, now what's your story, sunshine? Processor, processor, processor. Destroyed a door. Don't care. Processor. Barge. Oh, what barge? Which way am I facing? There I am. That is. I wish there was like an arrow that rotated on the <laughs> HUD that just pointed up always. Oh yeah, like here's here's galactic morph, or, or at least one that like pointed to the barge because up's kind of a weird concept in space. That's what I mean. Yeah, like there is no such thing as up, but some sort of waypoint to let you know here's here's your here's your reference. Uh, you can probably just poof it into the deposit. I don't know. Oh, reel yourself in. Reel yourself in. I'm trying. All right, we gotta break that one free. Again, by the way. Are you kidding me? I'm a, I'm a little okay. What are you hanging on to? There, right there. Two little cutting points right there. The first one didn't cut. Oh, I'm just pulling the rest of it with it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I didn't know if my burst used my oxygen, if that's why I was burning through it so fast. I don't think it does. No. I don't know what it uses. But it's probably not. just uh, kind of an unmonitored resource. Oh. 
I know, lady. So I, I could have just gone in because I realistically can't make any better rank. Yeah, but you can still get a little bit more credits. I by can, pushing yeah, the, the credits the are kind of what I'm after at this point. And even if you destroy something that's not supposed to be destroyed, it's not going to matter anymore. Right. Anyway. I literally can't wreck up uh, any penalties that would mean anything. Yeah, you can't do any better. You can't do any worse. Yeah. 18,000 credits. That ain't bad. A light? <laughs> Clayton, you destroyed a light. Come on. That wasn't very nice. I bet that little smidge right there is that little panel you accidentally pulled off and, and just tossed into, space. into yeah the space debris. Four point seven million dollars. That ain't bad. How was that all? New cert just dropped. So if you destroy too much stuff to like get negative rank uh-huh does that penalize you or just prevent you from getting any kind of rewards i think it just slows your progress got me a mackerel exo lab check this fragile equipment carefully and beware of electrical hazards outfitted with a wide variety of scientific instrumentation there we go i got my money back nice you are now qualified to handle electri electrical hazards during salvage. Salv Link salvage does not do a preliminary exam of ships to disconnect potential electrical hazards. We believe our ship breakers are well suited to handle such dangers, and in the long term, time savings are highly beneficial. Caution is advised. Mackerel heavy cargo. Grapple strength can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavy structural elements. Holy mackerel. <laughs> uh, hazard level 2 If you have reached clearance for hazard level 2 You may begin to encounter fire hazards In the form of fuel or flaming objects Got me a sticker I'm looking at the stats <laughs> coming from your bay And it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here it's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment and some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room and we'll see about upgrading your tools. Upgrades. I'm going to read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Links rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements. And the demo charge is really cool. Yeah. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they want to make sure you prove yourself first before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Links tokens. Use those tokens here. Is there a way to like make your oxygen more efficient? So let's get going there are, and I, I don't have any access to them, but one of these will be like more efficient oxygen or a rebreather or something like that. Uh, repair kit. How do I see my suit condition? You press, you press F, right? It, in that back menu? Yeah, but that, I mean, that uses it. I don't know. Everything's at 100%, though. Oh, and it also doesn't let me press F. Maybe it's not in this menu? It should be at the work suit, if anything. And it would be at the screen that it's on. Uh, let's see here. Stinger license, the Delhi Stinger 3200. What do I get, though? Range, additional range, split saw. I was thinking that your range was really, really short. Yeah. 
compared to what I'm used to. I but use... when you play open, you get fully upgraded everything. So. Oh yeah. Is it already unlocked, or do I have to buy it? Or oh, maybe that's the one I already have. Is what. I... Ah, right. So this one I can buy. Got it. Push module, tether module. Here we go. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Now, Tethers are your friends. Have a quick read, and let's hop back in the bay. Easy and intuitive to use. Press and hold your gra grapple secondary trigger to place the first contact point. Drag the connection to another contact to another object and release the trigger to complete the connection. Tethers automatically retract or pull connector connected objects together. It can also be used to pull objects into the processor furnace or barge for efficient and quick salvaging. Make sure there's nothing else here. Demo. Yeah, I can't buy that yet. Uh, that's my scanner. I have 64 Lynx tokens, but I don't have the clearance for anything. So, let's go hunting. Uh, training! Uh, Lynx, salvage the maximum. Continue salvaging. Wait, what? No. There we go. We'll clear the salvage bay. Yeah, that's fine. Let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more powerful than the beam in your grapple. They're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try it out. Press and hold the secondary input for the grapple to Where's the ship? placement. Point where you want the salvage to move to then release the input to create the tether. Great. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've already placed? There's a cancel command you can send, but take note that it clears all of your tethers. Go ahead and try it now. I don't want to try it now. I said all these tethers. Come on, you can oh, do it. Break. You can do it. You can do it. Gonna break. Cancel tethers. Why? There's a V. That's why. Yeah. There you go. Now, you've got unlimited tethers during this training exercise. But after this, when you need more, you'll have to buy them from the kiosk. Let's see how well you can handle them. Try and clear out a bunch of that scrap. You can stack multiple tethers on one object to increase the pull force. You can also chain objects of any size together to move them as a group. I've seen some cutters do incredible things with a daisy chain of tethers. Is it still not strong enough? Okay, there we go. Or are they just time expiring? I wonder if it's them taking too long. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. It is taking forever. These are weak tethers. Yeah, for real, dude. That's two, and there's All three. Right. Well done. Ka-ching. Like I said, tethers are 
others are your friends. Once you get the hang of them, you can get pretty creative on how you use them. Now, when you're ready, let's go back to the hab and continue with the day. Taking this one home. Okay, I got fourteen dollars. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Oh, my goodness. That training cost me half a million dollars. Bet I don't have anything new. Why would I? I hey, a sticker. Got three of those? There we go. Was. Let's uh, so Link's kiosk. I know all about that. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll get out of here. All right. All right, it's got a mac mackerel. We're gonna bust it wide open. Well, yeah. uh, this is nine point two million dollars. But you know what we gotta do? Take apart this Galactica. Oh no. I was the worm until you oh. showed up. So thank you. Now I get to do the hazing. What are you talking about? We don't do that. Welcome aboard. Don't listen to her. I'm Dee Dee. Kai! Your mic's still messed up. How about now? Better. Oh, hey, I'm Kaido. Kai. Mike's so busted. These are our characters that I have never oh, heard of before. Yeah, still waiting on the record. I've heard of them, I can't remember their stories, uh, though. Heaven forbid they give us functional gear. I'm sure they're working on it as fast as they can. Cutter, I added you to the Sector Comms channel. This cut can get lonely out here. Way. How's the chin? might not all be barge. Not at all barge. Alright. Enough chin wagon. Let's get back to it. Enough chin wagon. Goodbye. Bye. Later, Rook. I'm wagging my chin. Uh -huh. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Ain't nothing they can do about it. <laughs>
Yeah, I know. It's heating up. It's heating up. He's on fire. <laughs> yeah. What are you attached with? Oh, just that. That's the other thing, using the cutting end uh, instead of the precision end. Uh, it doesn't overheat. Yeah, it, it will. Um, but typically, if you're, if you're doing precise cuts, you don't have to lay on it as long. So, uh, uh, it doesn't, um, have the chance to overheat. Yeah. But if you do a bunch of rapid fire cuts, you can absolutely cook that thing. Still no engines. Can I take that? Yeah, I'm going to take that. Toilet instructions. <laughs> That's my O2. I'm going to wait for that to burn down a little bit more. Let's get the bottom off of this thing. And I guess I'll be tearing these lights off now. So ridiculously valuable. Uh, which, what are you? That's 3,500 credits. Yeah. Uh, what's that? The rear section? Okay. Now, this does have fuel uh, issues. And a U bolt for some reason. That's neat. Cable junction. Wait, issues? You mean you have to like deactivate oh, it somewhere? Oh, I shouldn't just tear that off. Yeah, probably. Um, rip this door off its hinges. You're still not having to deal with pressurization. Not yet. That'll come though. Don't you worry. Now. Warning. Low oxygen reserves. Hey, Mr. Man. One of this these. This old guy just walked in here. Oh, yeah? Now he's walking away. Where's my... Where's that oxygen bottle that I found? Crap. I don't think you got time to be looking for it. Dang it. I want to spend 16000 You're going to run out of oxygen again, so... I know. You're probably right. Oxygen reserves are critical. I know, lady. Employees are responsible for regulating carbon dioxide levels. This is the part that always makes... I like uh, how the music, like, gets more... Uh-huh. ...stressful. This is the part that makes uh, Quentin get nervous. What, the oxygen parts? The heavy breathing. Just because it's like, because he, he's a diver. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you, you don't want to hear that. It's not a good sound. It's not a, it's not a comforting sound. <laughs> Uh, perhaps there's not a fuel control module. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> you try to pull it through a frame that's... Precisely as yeah, large you know. as it. Warning. Yeah. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. 
That was not a barge item. Oh, you're right. It wasn't. I'm real dumb. Bro, same. <laughs> what are these things? Power cells. I know those are worth quite a bit. Oh. There's the O2 I was looking for. And the... No. Why is that one? Oh, they're both green. Okay. I wonder if you can leave those fleeting, flee, free floating or if it's like almost certain that you're going to bang into them and knock them free. I think that last one you said. Yeah. you got there. Yeah, you're good. Do I have tethers? I do have tethers. Oh, I have a lot of tethers. I think originally you had five. I got 20? Yo. Oh, wow. Get it in there. Who knows where at this point? Over there. Ah, right. Okay. You know where, where I'm pointing? Uh huh. I see. The light is out on this one, which means it should be disconnected. Oh, yep, on. there's your timer. Yeah, I don't like the timer. It's like the one thing I don't like. Yep. It can kind of put a damper on your phone. What are you attached with? What binds you? Use the x-ray specs. Yeah, you're I'll tell right. tell you what the cutting points are. I always forget about that. It's the it's the wiring and the the like boxes. These things, you think? Yeah, they're they're holding it on because the the wires are all connected to each other. It sounded like it hurt you. Also, you're running out of fuel. Yeah, I know. I'm basically gonna run as low as I can on fuel, and then just call it a day. Oh, it's this thing. These. All right. Yeah, there we go. This will cut her free. Now? Now. In my lamp. Pull that out of there. There we go. Place for everything and everything is place. See if I can get a couple more of these. No. You ain't going. Alright, I'll hang it up for today.
2.1 million. That ain't bad. And a little bit of waste there. 242,000 of, of waste. And I've got... Six, Not too much. Yeah. Got 23 magic points earned. And 9 Lynx tokens. Oh, this is a different... This is new. I don't... An intercom. Where... Where's the intercom? Is it in my bed? I think it's at the terminal. All right. Yes. Hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. <laughs> Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20, maybe? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> Dee Dee sends most of her money home. Goes through links, of course, with huge transfer fees. And Kaido, well, look, Kai's great. He just hasn't really taken to the work. Lynx calls him a low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I just need enough to get me one of those mining skips. You know, for belt running. There's still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Eventually want to hire some friends from back home. Oh, the Aerith platforms. Around Mars? Good. It's people. pronounced Aerith platforms? But works hard to find there. <laughs> Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady clip. There's another fine or fee. This job's fun as hell and all, but I got other plans. Maybe you do too. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms. Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Luau. Out. Luau. Out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and now I sleep. And there's a lot more like. Good morning, ship breaker story uh-huh world building customize your living space to boost your mood and increase productivity here a cutter mention the word beer how you holding up there cutter seems like you're getting the knack for it trust me when you get well versed in the art of ship breaking it becomes a joy to show up to the yard each day. Ain't a tray like it. Dancing between the ribs of a ship. <laughs> spitting heat. Dosey doing with a 10 ton panel. <laughs> Taking a breather. Gaze out. Yeah, it looks like you can get any of this until you get rank 5. Buzzing in the At least. Huh. Can you tell I miss it? That's alright. Helping y'all get there is near as good. Ah, dang it. I got corporate ringing me. Good luck out there today, Cutter. Talk to you again soon. We were out. Yeah, they've added a whole lot of stuff to this that I didn't know was in it. Mm hmm Like this window? Yeah, this was one of, uh, one of the earlier versions, and I think this was more to build the universe rather than the story, just to let you know, that, like, hey, there are other things happening than this than what you're doing there right other here. other bays right. breaking ships. Yeah. Um, I like how they positioned our bay mm -hmm. just so what we're working on can't be seen, but we can tell it's ours. Yes. You can you can see the, the openings of it, but they don't have Actually, to... Actually, you know what? That one might not be ours. Uh, it's really hard is to that, tell. That, that, that uh, little thing that we return to, isn't that what we're in right now? Uh... I don't know. Yeah, because we do go into that. Yeah, you're right. But I don't know if, like, do we get transported somewhere? Like, I don't know. Because he points out that huge elevator, and I have no idea what the elevator is for. But either way, let's make sure we save. But yeah, that is the opening of Hard Space Ship Breaker. 
Uh, so in career... Oh, shoot. Hopefully there's not going to be any more save wipes because... I don't... Like every few months they would just wipe everything. In the 1.0 announcement, they specifically say this will be the last save wipe. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the front menu. Sign, <gasps> sign out. So you've got open shift, removed shift timer, and oxygen drain. Unlimited lives, but you work on the clock. Limited, thirty revives. Oh, and then no revival. One life. So yeah, open shift is where you want to be. Yeah, that's where I'm probably gonna be playing it. Uh huh. I wish you could play the story mode but without the limitations uh huh even if I could like ch pick and choose which limitations I had right I wonder maybe if even they're... at like a like penalty for Pro rewards for reward yeah cause I would just what? turn off the timer I've been playing at 1080 this whole time come on oh that's unacceptable where's my 1080 uh 1440 at 100 hertz please 680 <laughs> 680 <laughs> yeah uh, V-Sync enabled, please. Uh, graphics. Graphics quality low? What is, what's all these stuff turned down? What's all this, then? Uh, enable anti-aliasing. Yes, please. Oh, now I, now I gotta see what it looks like. I'm not gonna save it, though. Could have just gone into open mode. You're right, I could have. Good morning, Cutter Nine Three Four. Oh yeah, this looks ma way better. <laughs> Today, I'm not seeing a difference. I, yeah, Seems it like doesn't really it. look that different Trust in me. here. When I feel like maybe the walls might look a little better. The the smaller items out there aren't as aren't as glittery as they used to be. Anyways. Now that I know I'm running in the better resolution, I'll make sure that that, is, that rolls over for next time. Uh, but that's going to do it for us here at Carpe Boredom, so thank you very much to anyone for watching. Whether you are studying, working, sleeping, or lurking, we appreciate you having us on in the background. Special thanks to those in the chat for keeping us company. We appreciate your time. To any new viewers, welcome. And if you'd like to see the followers free, just like your monthly complimentary Prime Gaming subscription. And speaking of subscriptions, we got us two YouTube channels to subscribe to. One that used to be for our edited gameplay videos that went up every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. The other one for the re-upload of our nightly broadcast 24 hours after it ends. We also have a Snapchat and an Instagram for behind-the-scenes content, as well as a Discord where you can meet up and hang out with the other members of our community. And a Facebook, in case you want to tell your grandma about us. I know it's a lot to keep track of, so I'll make it easy for you. Follow us on Twitter, where you can get our daily and weekly updates. And hit the website, carpeboredom.com. Uh, for our platform channel links. And while you're there, check out the store and pick up the softest shirt you've ever sold. <laughs> Don't have that one. Oh, man. I was hoping I'd get a big pasta. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Just uh, one big rigatoni. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a penne the size of a, a beer can. <laughs> a penne the size of a Hot Pocket. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. So what is tomorrow? Is that is that more Yakuza? Uh, are we going back to our normal... Friday, Saturday, we are. It's you and Shelby playing Yakuza Kaiwami 2. Yeah, very good. Uh, so yeah, that'll be good. Thank you, Logan, for joining me with the opening story of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Hey, thank you for showing me all the new stuff yeah. that I probably won't play. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, you'll 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 experience it through me. It, there you go. Um, alrighty, and uh, thank you to everyone else for watching, and uh, we will see you back here tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern as we play some more video games. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.